Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl the Richard Divine Feminine here and I come with a quick little message for you guys and my message to you guys is um, some of you guys been praying and asking God for a relationship or shall I say for a marriage and that marriage is getting ready to come but I gotta tell y'all something it's gonna be a marriage of tests cause you know how it says I ain't never been married but I know it says through sickness and health to death do us part what if you're getting ready to be married to someone and health is your first test? Lord, have mercy. What if God is sending someone to you whose health is not par and you have to nurture this person? I'm talking about wash them, change them. I'm talking about nurture them to health because they have a chronic illness. But this is the person that God has for you. You see, oftentimes, you have to be careful of what you pray for. Or be careful of what you ask in God for. Because what you ask in Him for, you will get. But sometimes, the way you getting it, it got you questioning if it's from Him. See, some of you guys are about to go through something where... The person you're supposed to be with has a chronic illness. I don't know. They might have cancer. Um, they might be in kidney failure. They might be have a heart condition. They might be in something where you have to nurture them. I'm talking about hospital. You're going to have to go to the hospital with them. Hospital stays. I'm talking about cleaning them. I'm talking about doing these things, being a caretaker to them. And... This is a test from God, but what you want is going to be in the end because guess what? You are a healer. So God is going to bring somebody to you that needs you to be healed, to need you. What is this? Is the biggest test from God, the biggest test of your life that somebody coming in to you and they help. It's more like something burning, huh? And they help is not to par. And. You have to take care of them. You have to nurture them. No, nothing even. I don't know what I'm about to say. And um, you have to take care of them. You have to nurture them. What if this is a test from God? What would you do? Because some of you guys have been praying and asking God for a relationship. And he's sending that to you. But what if this person is coming to you who health is not the part? Who you have to physically take care of? I'm talking about take care of like like you would do your children. What if that were God sending into you? Would you be able to handle it? Because some people is leaving out of some situations where they escape, escape death. So these, these people are going to be sick because they are winging off of what they had upon them. The trauma, the all that they've been through. Would you be the ride or die? And take care of this person or would you abandon this person even though you prayed and you asked God for this see because sometimes we be praying and we asking God for stuff and we be looking at it and thinking he bringing it in one way and he bringing in a totally another way to us and it catches by surprise but do you say lawyer do you stay faithful to God and what you asked him for or do you walk away and go to something better because you felt like what you got is not what you wanted See, sometimes things come in packages that we got to re rebuild it. That we got to re re-nurture it. <laughs> it comes in things like this. You ever got a package in the mail and the package is all beat up? And then maybe it's something you really want. You might have to put a little bit of super glue here or fix it here because you don't want to send it back because it's something that you really wanted. Sometimes God has sent us a test like that. But we have to repackage something, re-love something, re-nurture something. Because some people be coming from damaged situations. Some people be coming from, you don't know what be going on behind closed doors in people's households. So say you praying and you asking God for something and God sending you somebody who's hurt, who's broken, who don't know how to love, don't know how to heal. But you a healer. You know how to love. You know how to heal. You know how to do all the rest of these things. Would you throw in the towel? Or would you take the task on because you prayed and asked God for this and he sent you this? And it's not even what you was expecting. It's not even what you was thinking. What if God sent you somebody? What if you praying and you asking God 
for a husband and a wife and your wife she's she or she or he having financial difficulties at this time they barely making ends meet they on the verge of losing everything but you pray for this you pray for this and this the person that god got for you what would you do would you accept that person in or would you let that person go because here mind it you didn't went to god before before him and asked him like god i want a spouse i want somebody that love me i want some or would you walk away from this person because they don't have the money that they need but you went to god about it see y'all gotta learn how to stop and think about it see when you go before god you gotta be more specific what you want and how you want it because i'm telling you guys some of y'all been playing for a relationship praying for a husband praying for a wife praying for a family somebody about to have to take care of somebody i'm telling you i'm not and i ain't talking about financially i'm talking about taking care of them physically because they sick in their body but you wanted this you prayed and you asked for somebody who loved you through sickness and through health who death do a sport so you're going to get somebody and they health not going to be the part. What you going to do? You going to ride or you going to slide? I don't know who that message is for and I don't know who needs to hear that. But it's your girl, the real true divine feminine. I pray that message help who it needs to help, reach who it needs to reach and bless who it needs to bless. Yeah, stay blessed.